Hi guys, welcome to Urban Treats where we show you easy recipes you can make at home. Today I want to teach you a recipe from my childhood. This is a traditional Austrian Buchtel recipe. Buchtels are uh, yeast dumplings that are baked and filled with apricot jam. It's an Austrian tradition and I basically grew up on this. As always, the ingredients are in the description. Let's get started. Let's start with the yeast. So first we will have to mix our yeast with our liquid. So in this case, that's one cup of milk. I'll just add that here into the bowl. And then add in the yeast. I'm using instant yeast, so you don't need to bloom it. If you use dry yeast or fresh yeast, then you will have to let this sit for 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes until it bubbles up. I'm gonna add the sugar as well. This is 65 grams of sugar and I'm adding one pinch of salt. Now we'll just give this a quick stir and we'll just let it rest for a couple of minutes just so that the yeast can absorb all the liquid and then we'll go to the next step. Now that the yeast is ready and bloomed, we can add in the eggs and we need one full egg. And we'll also add one egg yolk by itself. The egg yolk contains a lot of fat and it will give extra nice rich flavor to our buchtel. Here we go. Set that aside. Last but not least, we add the butter and we're using 60 grams of butter here, unsalted and melted. And you will realize that this is very similar to my bread roll recipe, which you can see on the top left here but it's a little different. It has a few adjustments like the extra egg yolk and a little bit more sugar because it is a dessert after all. Okay, and now this is ready. We can add in the flour and then just start netting. We can add the flour all at once. I've already pre-sifted this so there are no big clumps in it. We'll just add it all in here. We'll let the machine net the dough for a few minutes, then we'll scrape the bowl a little bit and then we'll let it net until it's nice and smooth and doesn't stick to the sides. The dough is ready. It's been netting for about six to seven minutes. And I know it's ready because it's now super smooth and it's not sticking to the edge of the bowl anymore. It still does stick a little, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna oil the bowl now that we're gonna let it proof in. And it's going to be great. Now, I have a little glass bowl here, the one I used for my flour before, and I have a little bit of vegetable oil here. And I'm just going to smear that all around the bowl to prevent the dough from sticking as it rises. Give it a nice coat, but avoid having a puddle on the bottom of the bowl. Just coat it. And if your fingers are a bit oily, that's great because it will help you handle the dough better as well. Let's just pop this one out. And we'll just get it out of the bowl. We'll just get that out and you see it's a bit sticky but my hands are oily so I can just grab it and work with it. You can see it's a bit sticky but if you handle it quickly and if you make sudden moves then it's not going to stick and as it gets oily it doesn't stick at all. Now place this in your bowl, try it for a small round shape, it doesn't have to be perfect at all and then we'll get a little bit of cling film this. Just wrap the bowl. Oh, doesn't want to come off. <laughs> there it is. Just wrap that. And we will let this rest in a warm place. I don't need to find a warm place because we're in the middle of the summer and it's around 34 degrees outside. But if you don't have, uh, if it's not so warm where you are right now, then just try and find the warmest place in your kitchen or in your house and let this rest for about 40 minutes until it doubles in size. 
If you want to keep it warmer, you can also place a towel on top of this, just to make sure none of the heat escapes from the dough. As soon as this is doubled in size, I'll see you for the next step. It's safe to say that our yeast worked and the dough has not only doubled, it's actually more than doubled in size. Now it might stick a little bit to the film in the top, but that's okay. We don't need that part. Punch out the air a little bit. Might be a bit sticky. We don't want to use flour at this point because when we form the bottle with a filling, we want them to stick together properly. So if it's a bit sticky, just work with it. It's going to be okay. And don't use flour. Okay, we got that out. Here it is. Let's weigh the whole amount of dough. This should be around a kilo, around 900, 950, 920 grams exactly. And we want to divide that into 12 equal portions. We want 75 grams um, of, for each bowl or each bun. We'll just weigh that. Almost there. Okay, I'll just make 12 of these and then I'll see you for the next step. Last one, 12 equal pieces, perfect. They're not completely round and that's fine. We're gonna roll them up a little bit just to help us a little bit with the shaping. But they don't have to be perfect at this point because we are going to fill them with a little bit of apricot jam. And that's the traditional jam that we use in Austria. My mom used to make these, or my grandma when I was a kid, we used to have all different types of flavors, apricot, strawberry, and even sometimes vanilla. My mom used to make some vanilla custard and, and add that in. But today we're making the traditional ones, the classic Buchtel, and they are made with apricot jam. Now, as I said before, don't use any flour. It's a bit sticky and that's fine because when we fill it with jam, we want it to be sticky and not open up. That is ready. And before we fill them, the next step is to butter our baking pan. And I have here about a tablespoon of butter. And that's softened. That's been out of the fridge the whole uh, duration of us making this recipe. So we'll just spread that evenly. You can use your fingers or you can spread it with a brush or with a spoon. Either way, it's fine. But try and get it as even as possible. And that's basically going to avoid the sticking on the pan, but it's also going to make the buckle nice and crispy on the inside. So it's basically like frying them from the, from the inside of the pan. Mm -hmm. And now we need some apricot jam. And I have some right here. Now, the next step is pretty straightforward. All you'll need to do is grab a piece of, the, of your dough ball here and then press it into your hand. We want it to be approximately the size of your hand. You don't want it to be too thin because if you make them too thin, they're gonna burst open during the baking and we don't want that. So don't make them too big. You see, slightly bigger than the palm of my hand, um, still thick enough not to open up during baking. And you grab a teaspoon of apricot jam. Doesn't have to be a full, like half a spoon is more than enough. Get that in the middle. And now you have to be a bit quick. You don't want the jam to run over the place. Just fold one piece over first, pinch it together, fold the other sides over, fold that side over, and make this little package pinching the bottom up. And now you have a perfectly round bookroom. Look, you don't even need to roll it. It's already nice and round. And when it grows in the oven, it's going to look amazing. So just place that into your um, baking tray. They can stick close to each other because they're gonna grow and they're gonna stick together. It's gonna be like a pull apart bread and that's absolutely fine. Let's just do the rest and then put them in the oven. one it's a tight squeeze it almost doesn't fit into my pan but I'm gonna squeeze this in here and it's gonna work out so I can see that I made a couple of them a little too thin and they might burst open but we'll find out in a bit now look we have 12 
amazing bukton or um, yeast dumplings. I think that's the only translation I could find, yeast dumplings. So bukton. We'll pop these in the oven at 175 degrees. I've already preheated my oven. That's about 340 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna bake them for about 25 to 27 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Now, if you would make bread rolls, like if you check out my bread roll recipe, um, I would paint these with a little bit of egg wash just to brown them. But traditionally in Austria, we don't do that. We just let them brown by themselves and then we cover them with a little bit of powdered sugar, which is exactly what we're gonna to do today. So I'll put this in the oven and I'll see you in a bit. Wow, look at these, they are ready. They've been in the oven for about 26 minutes actually, um, and I can tell that they're perfectly done. When you knock on them, you can hear it sounds a bit hollow, um, and they've, they've uh, raised nicely and they're and nice and brown. So as the last step now, we add a little bit of powdered sugar, as is tradition in Austria. So just add a little bit here in the sieve, not too much. Whoop, that might already be too much. Here we go. We'll just redistribute a bit of this. And that's it. We're gonna let these cool down and then we are ready for a taste test. And that's how you make buchteln or yeast dumplings in Austria. We are ready for the taste test, but before we do, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. We're back every week with another video, so make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button. Now, let's do the taste test. Are you ready? Look how nice, soft and spongy this is. It's so good. It smells absolutely delicious. Mmm. Filled with apricot jam. Nostalgia to the fullest. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back next week. See you then.